Good morning, YouTube. It is a Sunday morning, the last Sunday of April 2019. It is 10 16 in the morning here on April the 28th here in uh, Holland, Michigan. I am uh, drinking coffee, writing in my diary. I am on page 375. I've written two pages already this morning in my diary about my uh, drifting on the death flow in the last days of the American Empire, waiting for China and Russia to start World War III. And yeah. I uh, was reading, before I started making the video, this novel, French Exit by Patrick DeWitt. Now, I was reading uh, Beakey's uh, Reform Systematic Theology this morning, and uh, I read a chapter in that, and then I, uh, I couldn't think of anything else. I'm waiting this week that Reformation commentary on Romans 1 through 8 is supposed to come. So then I'll start reading that in the morning. I'm kind of getting kind of burnt out on Dutch Reformed theology. Kind of getting, getting burnt out reading uh, Greg the Great on his more reflections on the book of Job. I also got a book, uh, a New Testament study on the revelation of Jesus Christ. That is the last book in the Bible, in the New Testament. I have that coming in the mail this week. What's well, supposed to come in the mail. I'm not saying it will. But it's a study on the revelation of Jesus Christ. The last book in the uh, New Testament. I like those. Uh, I just thought I'd just read it. John to the. It, this is in the first chapter. Uh, it says, and starting in verse 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants, things which must shortly take place and be sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ to all things that he saw. Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it for the time is near. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne and from Jesus Christ the faithful, the faithful witness the firstborn from the dead, the ruler over the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him, even they who pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. Even so, amen. I am the Omega, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. So, yeah, I look forward to reading that. I, I've been reading that one on uh, the Biblical Theology of Circumcision, which is okay. I'm almost halfway through that. So what this video is this morning on... April the 28th is what I'm going to be reading through the month of May. This is to be read. These are the books I've been reading not only in the month of April but I read them in March and I'll probably be reading them until June unless I really get burnt out. I tend to read all over the map. People ask me in my comments how many books do you read? And like I said, and I've said this over the three years I've been making booktube videos, is that I, I enjoy the activity of reading. Uh, I don't necessarily 
can say at the end of April, my like having an April wrap up. I've read, I've read five books, whatever. Now I did finish a novel. Now I mentioned to you a minute ago that I was reading this morning *French Exit*, a novel by Patrick Dewitt. Well, a couple, I don't know, a while back I was reading his novel Un *Under Major Damio Minor* by Patrick Dewitt, and when I got this Friday at the Book Nook, uh, I got out this and I finished reading it yesterday. I read it all day yesterday and finished it. So I do read and I do finish novels. But as you look at this, it's a, you could probably read this in two days, maybe even a day if you just sat down and read it. But I read it. It was okay. I wouldn't, it didn't blow me away. Um, but like I always say, I, I, I tell people, don't spend your money. There's very few books I would go into a, a retail bookstore and buy now this book I would go to a library and check it out or see it at a used book sale or used bookstore, yeah. But I wouldn't pay $16 for this. <laughs> I wouldn't pay, I wouldn't spend it. Now this, this is a hardback. It goes for $26. I got it for $2 at the book nook. But I do, I do like his sense of humor, his his wordplay, his witty, he's very witty. Uh, I do, I have enjoyed reading these and I haven't DNF them. And I do, like I said, you know, here I am reading French Exit, a novel on Sunday morning and not reading my Christian books all day. So, but what I am going to be reading throughout the month of May, my to be read pile is I'm going to be, I will be reading the essays White by Brent Easton Ellis. The uh, other day I looked online on the internet and people really did not like this book. And I know why. Because he's very critical of what's going on in the media, what's going on in movies, what's going on in TV, this kind of censorship, this puritanical kind of attitude towards anything that is critical of what is going on in the news as far as women's rights, uh, racism, what's going on as far as movies. He's very, he's a cultural critic and he steps on people's toes. <laughs> but I really, I, I really like the main message of this essays and I might talk about it more, but I'm going to be reading this in the month of May. And I'm reading T.C. Boyle's novel, Outside Looking In. This is historical fiction on Timothy Leary and the psychedelic movement in the 60s. I got this book in the mail. I mentioned I was getting another book on by Victor Serge. This is Anarchists Never Surrender, Essays, Polemics, and Correspondence on Anarchism, 1908 to 1938 by Victor Sir. These are translated and edited by Michael Abador and forward by Richard Greenham. And I'll be reading Memoirs of a Revolution of May, Victor Sir. I've shown these already. And I'll be reading in the month of May, Notebooks by Victor Sir, 1936 to 1947. So I will be reading a lot of Victor Sir. <laughs> throughout the month of May. I'm really enjoying his writings and stimulating and putting me in a different place intellectually. And I do want to finish this novel by Carolyn Shute, Merriman, in the month of May. Uh, I just got to sit down and read it until I finish it. I have probably 130 pages left. I want to get back into reading The Marshall Plan Dawn of the Cold War by Ben Steele. I was really enjoying this and I want to get back into it in the month of May. And I want to get back into reading Nervous States, Democracy and Decline of Reason by William Davies. I was really enjoying this. I want to get back into it in the month of May. I want to finish also the novel Accursed by Joyce Carol Oates. This is like a gothic horror thing. 
And I want to get back into this. And I was reading Faculty of Dreams by Sarah Strangberg. I want to get back into reading this novel. And I want to get back into reading Pleasures of the Imagination, English Culture in the 18th Century by John Brewer. And I want to start reading soon uh, Leo Damarush, The Club, Samuel uh, uh, Johnson, Boswell, and the Friends Who Shaped an Age. So I want to get into this in the month of May. I want to continue reading in the month of May, Pleasures of the Imagination, uh, English Culture in the Eng 18th Century. I want to get back into reading this uh, novel by Sarah Strangberg, The Faculty of Dreams. I want to get back into a reading of The Accursed by Joyce Carol Oates, a gothic horror novel. And this is like a, a cultural study, Nervous States, Democracy and Decline of Reason by William Davies. I want to get back into reading this. I want to get back into reading The Marshall Plan, The Dawn of the Cold War by Ben Steele. I want to finish the novel Merry Men by Carolyn Schutt. And I'll be reading uh, these, uh, this anthology of Victor Serge's earlier writings, Anarchist Never Surrender. And I want to read his notebooks, 1936-47 to 47 by Victor Serge. And also in the month of May, Me Memoirs of a Revolutionary by Victor Serge. Uh, in the month of May. And I want to read D.C. Boyle's novel, historical fiction on Timothy Leary and psychedelic movement, Outside Looking In. Read these more, I'm almost done with this, White, Brent, Eston Ellis, uh, his essays. And I want to read French Exit, a novel by Patrick DeWitt. So these are the things on my to be read pile. I do got books coming in the mail. I got that book on the revelation of Jesus Christ. I got that Reformation commentary on Romans 1 through 8. And I also have a novel coming in from England that I'll show when it comes in. And I also got a, a, something, the, something to do with like an anthology of Timothy Leary's writings that I ordered of coming. And I'll be going to thrift stores throughout the month of May. So yeah, books are always coming in, CDs are always coming in. I'm always reading, I'm always writing in my diary. Uh, always watching birds. Uh, tulips, it got warm here in Holland, Michigan. And my wife said that she was downtown Holland and there's tulips are up. So when tulip comes next month, the first week of May, I think it is, that all the tourists will see tulips. I should go and take, I used to take pictures of tulips and then I got, for many years I took pictures of tulips, tulip time, and I got kind of, you know, you've seen one tulip, you've seen, um, you've seen them all. <laughs> I still, I, I like flowers, I love flowers. I like, uh, I don't really take pictures of people except our grandchildren and my, our children and stuff around the house, but I don't, I don't take pictures of crowds or I don't go downtown and take pictures of tourists or things like that. I like taking pictures of the natural world. Uh, when I go to a park or I go out to Lake Michigan, I take pictures or make a little video. You can see those in my YouTube channel. But yeah, that's what's going on here in my book world uh, to be read in the month of May. 2019. It's springtime. Tomorrow we're supposed to have people come over and trim our trees and our bushes and put down new um, stuff around our, our plants. What do you call it? Um, wood chips, something like that. And towards the end of May I will prepare my wildflower garden. And yeah, in the month of June, towards the month, end of June, all our kids are going to be here. Our daughter and her family from Denver, and our son and his family from Seattle, and 
we're all going to be together, hopefully, and it should be a good time, end of June, early week of July. So yeah, existence keeps flowing by. I hope you're having, a, you had a good week, that you have a good new week. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the comments. And until next time, bye.